coming to the Bible, I challenge the whole Christianity. Nowhere in the entire Bible, Jesus said from his mouth, I am God and worship me. You know, clever Christian comes and tells us, okay, show us where Allah says in the Quran, same phrases. You know, this is what you call a bogus apologetic, nonsense apologetic. God is God. He doesn't have to say. Jesus was not God. He was created. You can see he was being created. You cannot expect a created person to be God. And then you presume that he should not say that I am God because he was God. How come? You can see that he was born in the stable. He was circumcised. God is getting circumcised. Anyways. Let's see. Allah says in the Quran, Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse number 12 or 13. Allah says, An Allah fa'abudni. I am God. I am Allah. Worship me. Here in the Quran, it's clear. So the bogus apologetic Christians, listen this verse from Surah Taha, chapter 20. Allah says, I am God. Worship me. Now you should so wear Jesus Christ said that I am God and worship you. You will never find it. Jesus says in John chapter 20, verse number 20 onwards or 12, hold, read whole passage. John chapter 20, read whole. You will see at the last of the point, Jesus Christ said, I have not ascended to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Rabbi wa Rabbakum. Did I quote this not in the Quran? Who is my Lord and your Lord. Exactly Jesus said in John chapter 20 verse number 12 onwards. I have not ascended to my father and your father. To my God and your God. Clear. How can Jesus call another person or entity God when he himself is God? Christian says that no actually it was his human nature. Even a human nature. Once he has a human nature... That human nature and God he has. At the time of human nature, can you say that he was not God? Can you say that? All these questions which makes a conundrum in the minds of people. Can you believe according to Christian, Jesus was God. So God came down to this earth and put thousands of Christians into confusion. When God is on earth, what the confusion is there? It's gone. God is walking amongst you. The biggest mystery of this world is this, to believe in unseen God. And he is walking with you and you are still confused and you call it a mystery. There is no mystery for you. We can say we have a mystery because our aqidah is that we have to worship unseen God. We have to fear unseen God. When the God is seen, what is there left? Think about it. God came down and put thousands of Christians and you killed on the deity of Christ and Jesus himself didn't tell you, preach you and explain you how to explain Trinity. You bring three pastors, ask the question simultaneously, they are fail or they will unable to apply the answer about explaining of Trinity. Every pastor has the same Holy Spirit, but their explanation will vary. Who is speaking the truth? Playing people, games in the minds of people, donations, donations, collecting from the churches. That's all. Jesus Christ said, I have not ascended to my father and your father. Jesus said, John chapter 5 verse 30. I can on myself do nothing as I hear, as I judge. And my judgment is righteous. Even so the father has sent me so I should speak. Who is speaking this? My father is greater than I. My father is greater than all. And call no man your father on this earth. As is there, there is only one your father which art in the heavens. Matthew 23, 9. What these verses are for? Where he says that I am God, where he says that I worship me, you will never find till doomsday. Never. Not even the apocryphal books they have. You never find these verses. Then why are you believing Jesus to be God? Why? Think deeply. Jesus says, the one who is being sent is not greater than the one who sends him. So who was being sent? Jesus or God? Jesus was sent on this earth. So he is not greater than the one who sends. God Almighty. 
then how can you believe that he is in which side he said that I am equal in which place he says that I am a father or one has been done already John 10 30 we don't want to go into that the point is where he concrete knowledge where is concrete knowledge where is the concrete knowledge where Jesus says I am God where he says worship me monosyllabic everything is monosyllabic that he's speaking tongue under the cheek astaghfirullah we don't believe that we need a concrete solid if he's God say so in Mark you know one of the disciples came and said Rabbi what should we do to you know what he said good Rabbi and he said that why even you calling me good there's none good except God Almighty John 17 1 to 5 Jesus says that oh God Almighty the work which you gave us to me I have completed and what's that work he's asking for a reward he said that I glorify thee, singular, that thou art the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Now God Almighty, give me my reward. I have finished my work. I have completed my work. I have th told the things people what you were expecting from me, that thou art the only true God and Jesus Christ, when you have been sent like a messenger of Allah. This is the point. John 17 is the most important point. He has to finish the work, but you say no. He has to put on the cross to finish the job. So the translator of the Bibles, they play the games. King James Version says you have finished, completed or finished. Other translator says no, it's completed. So you think that these are the missing points are there. Games after games. This is what you ought to explain to the people. Why did Jesus says that thou art? You know what is thou art in archaic English? In old English, singular. Only true God. What is only in your English? Only, meaning beside you, nobody. So who was Jesus then? Think. That is why Allah says that you utter lie against Allah and you know it. Your Jews had played the pen. For Woe to them who write down the books with their own hands and then they say this is from Allah so they can mint some money from it. So woe to them what their hands do right and woe to them what they earned through it. Chapter 2 verse number 79